Peyote is a very powerful mind altering plant. Peyote grows um, in a high desert and it's a very small uh, plant that's hard to find because only a tiny bit of it grows above ground. The Kiri is their original uh, source of shamanism. It grows in their homeland. They're very different plants, but again, for the Weechol, they have the same source, which is their elder brother, who, who teaches them these beneficial things they need to heal and to perform rituals. The reason why I say beyond peyote is, chronologically, I believe the Kiri existed for the Weechol for centuries before peyote was introduced to them. I was the first anthropologist to actually see Chieri. The previous American anthropologists wrote about Chieri without ever having seen it, much less to a, doing a pilgrimage there. The uh, grandfather of the Copadre was the great shaman of that region, and he wanted very badly for Jay to record all this because he had a vision that said, one day I'm going to die and this culture will not remain the same, but there will be generations after me who will be curious to know where they came from. And by that time, because we're an oral culture, there won't be anybody left to tell them. Well, Jesus Gonzalez was uh, a person that I met, supposedly by accident, in 1976. It wasn't until I had made 23 visits to study with the shamans of Santa Catarina that I decided to go to Jesus Gonzalez's community in Tuxpan de Bolaños. Little by little I realized this is the, the person that now can explain to me about the Chiari. He had this momentous experience with it when he was seven years old. Jesus Gonzalez, of course, uh, gave me the full narrative of his childhood experience. The wife that went with Jesus Gonzalez on the five pilgrimages to our mother ocean in the Pacific Ocean, after he started practicing as a singing shaman, meaning leading the rituals, their, their first granddaughter was ill. And so he was not sure what to do. So his wife said to him, we made him. These pilgrimages together, we sacrificed all of this time and effort. You have got to heal her. So it was her convincing him to do what he should be doing because he had been empowered already to practice as a shaman. So she encouraged him. I said, oh my gosh, this is as good as any shamanic initiation story that's ever been published.